Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a sidebar to Google Sites in 2024. So I'm going to show you how to add a sidebar. Of course, a sidebar can help you organize like contents, provide easy navigation, and even improve the overall user experience of your site. So make sure to follow this step-by-step -step guide. So, and make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using brave for you you can use this if you want make sure you have a google account if you don't have one you'll not be able to access google sites if you have one that's good if you don't just go to this url section type sites uh, dot google.com and hit the enter button once you do so you should be taken here and all you need to do simply is just go to the top right corner uh, as an example if it's your first time as an example so here you'll they will ask you of course to sign into an account if you don't have one you'll have to click on create a new account as an example and create a new account for me because i'm already connected to an account uh, i'll be taken here so here you can start first of all creating a site from blank sites so let me just go and delete that example and you can start from blank as you can see everything is empty you can simply embed all the things by your own or uh, you can simply choose one of the template that they have from the gallery as you can see so they have personal templates uh, work templates uh, small business templates and even educational templates as you can see so a lot of them a lot of templates that you can choose from because it's all free some of you will say oh it's not a lot it's just uh, sh like small templates a small number of templates but it's actually a lot because all of them are free you can use them however you want without any uh, restrictions so choose a template that suits you or you can simply start from a blank site so for me i'll just go here and click on start a blank i'll go blank as an example so to have a sidebar as an example uh, so we can start navigating through pages and etc uh, we would like to add some pages first of all and etc and customize our site a little bit so i'll go just go here first of all to themes on the top right corner go and choose a theme of course as you can see this default theme you can change the color and fonts of it you can create a theme by your own you can upload one if you want to or import it or choose from the other themes that they have so for me as an example i always choose this one i like it you can change the font however you want or the colors and yeah so it's time here to uh, add or give this page a name i'll name it home why because it's the first page and i'll give this site a name so i'll name it omics I will change the background image of this. I'll just click on upload and upload this image as an example. Uh, other than that, as an example, you can change the header like type. Do you want this a banner or large banner or just a cover as an example uh, or title only? For me, this is a cover. Why not? Uh, uh, like it's going to be a big, a little bit. That's not a problem. You can add the footer here as an example and add whatever you want on the footer. So, yeah, as an example, so I'll just, okay, I'll change this into large banner so it will be smaller a little bit. And yeah, here, of course, for this anchor, you can simply change which, uh, chi which type of the picture should be shown, the center or whatever page you want. So to show like correctly, I'll just choose cover. Here, other than that, you can simply add a logo. Uh, you can add a logo on Favicon. What's a Favicon? is simply this small like uh, picture here on the left of every tab. So if you go to Google, for example, you find oh, GoDaddy. As an example, you'll have their uh, favicon. As an example, this small picture is their favicon. Google the same. As an example, if you go maybe to Shopify, it's the same and etc. So the favicon of Google Sites is this small picture here. So I'll add upload the logo here. As an example, I'll upload this. Uh, I'll upload the favicon also. But just keep in mind, the favicon, uh, so it can show correctly like this, they have a special measurements. So as an example, I'll just type here favicon uh, measurements. Uh, as an example and as you can see yeah it should be 16 over 16 pixels so it will look good or even i guess 32 uh, x 32 will work as uh, good also and yeah i mean on, uh, other than that for the logo you can add the old text you can change uh, the color to choose to use for the theme of course for the logo as an example maybe choose this or maybe this as an example maybe this okay this is too much maybe this is good and yeah other than that as we said, we would like to add the sidebar. So let's just go here and start adding some pages. So as an example, I'll just add some of them pages. I'll, pay, I'll name a page test. Another page, I'll name it like uh, whatever here. And yeah, I'll add whatever other page, something like that. You can even uh, adjust or add a custom path of it if you want to. 
And for each page, as an example, you can make it as a home page. You can go to the properties and change whatever you want on it. On it, you can add a sub page to that specific page, as an example. So here, as an example, I'll add another page to this specific page, as an example, a sub page. Or you can simply uh, just go and if you go here, as you can see, and take this page. So just select it and take it and put this example inside this test. This example is going to be a normally by a, a sub page to it. Or you can simply just uh, go here and you can add even a sub page to it so if how do you understand if sub page you'll find this uh, icon here if you click on it as you can see it will be a sub page and how to add a sidebar as example sidebar uh, will be added automatically in here as example once you add a lot of pages and if you add of course of course i'll just add one more page here so oh, i add it as uh, as a sub page so i don't want to add a sub page i want to add no i don't want to add like a new sub page I want to just add a normal page as an example. So just close this and yeah, new page. Yeah. So I'll just name it something like that. As you can see, so we have here two pages and one a page that has a sub page. This page has a sub page and this page has a sub page. So basically, of course, you can lower like, okay, I'll just delete this one. At least just let's just two. And yeah, as you can see, we already have a bar per default. Of course, if you go here to insert, you can insert or embed it like a code uh, for like a sidebar if you want to. Uh, you can also like have a table of contents uh, if you want to. You can here add the hidden and they will appear uh, as a table of contents if you want to uh, count that as, side, as, as a sidebar. And yeah, other than that, all, I guess that's it. How to add the sidebar? You have one per default. And other than that, you can add simply this table of contents that you can simply count as a sidebar. Other than that, you'll not be able to do anything else. Of course, you can even embed a sidebar code. As an example, you can simply just go HTML uh, like five uh, sidebar. Uh, you can simply just go and use one of those that is available here. So let me just go and wait for the page to load. So example, you have here option one. As example, you can simply just go and copy this and try to embed it. I don't know if it will work or not. Example, you'll see how it's going to look like and click on insert and it should be inserted right there. So you'll have just to wait for it until it's uploaded correctly and it should be good to go. So that's basically the options that you have to add a sidebar. So yeah. So other than that, uh, you'll be able to publish your sites however you want. And yeah, on a specific like uh, URL. Or you can simply, uh, as you can see, this is going to be the URL. You can simply customize the last option of it. Or you can simply uh, connect a custom domain to upload whatever you want on it. And you'll be good to go. So this is going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.